That ring. Oh my gosh, that ring. You're dead. That fucking ring. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. I got the pot, I got the pot. This is so good. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh fuck my I'm ass! Oh man! Wow! I peaked at 500! I peaked at the 500, man! Holy shit, I love my life! Priest can't orc. No, but like, I, I'm just, yeah, my bad. Okay, priest can't orc. But I'm just saying different racials, yeah. Like, I. What's going on there? User joined your channel. What up? Wait, are you. Whoa, okay! Disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm about to start streaming. I'm really ugly and I don't want to stream with camera, but I heard you got more viewers with it, so what is it about? Well, it depends on how ugly you really are. So if you're so ugly and weird looking that people will come into your stream to make fun of you, well, I mean, that's a viewer, right? But if you're just a generally ugly looking, you know, unattractive person, then maybe you could start without a camera and see how things go there, that way, right? And, and it just depends. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, all videos, wait, where's the, wait, where is it? I don't even see it now. Second channel. Well, what's a second channel? Uh. Let me see. Okay, there. Uh, I guess this is probably it, right? Okay, I just typed KSI second uh, channel. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. All right, let's take a look. Mm. Salting compilation. I think this is probably the one that I'm in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm hungry. Okay. I am very, very hungry. And that is why I have this meal. Pasta with salmon and vegetables. Mm -mm -mm. But oh, we have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. There's no salt. There is no salt in the house. I've looked everywhere, in the kitchen, in the cupboard, nothing. No salt whatsoever. So okay. what am I gonna do? I could go to Tesco's. Oh wait, I can't. It's too late. Tesco's is closed. Maybe Sainsbury's. Nope, Sainsbury's is closed as well. So where am I gonna get salt? Actually, I know a place where there's plenty of salt. The gaming community. The gaming community has okay. more salt than the goddamn ocean. And that, okay. ladies and gentlemen, okay. is what I need to give this tasty meal some flavor. So let's see what we got. All right. <laughs> First one. That's great. I mean, I don't know what's going on. My food's going to get cold at this point. I'm pretty yeah, sure that will do it. I'm pretty sure that will do it. Let me, let me, let me taste. Mm, there's a little bit of salt, but I think we need more. Oh, fuck you, faggot. The fuck what? you say to Okay, can't do that one. Remember, that was back whenever Twitch was a good, uh, was... I wouldn't want to say good, but that was back whenever you were able to, like, say other things. And, um, back in the day. You can't do that anymore, and, um, I, I can't play that video. Oh, well. You can cheat, right? If she says Thanks no to this... Like Shut up. Okay. Um, so, if she declines your option, if she declines your offer, like, can we design a system together that guarantees neither of us will cheat? Then you know she has the intention to cheat and you can leave her, right? So that, you've already sorted that one out. So then you design a system together, and if you see her trying to sneak little holes into it, like, oh, you know, blah, 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 I don't like that, I'm uncomfortable with that, right? Then you know she intends to cheat as well. So right away you can do that. So I was thinking about the system that I would want. Uh, so I think you implant GPS trackers into each other, and any dropout and stuff that is unexplainable, i.e. not due to proper outages, um, is just considered cheating. You also have health monitors on at all times that track heart and stuff and then you can see periods of arousal and sexual activity so then you know if the sexual activity you require both of you to record your masturbation so any sexual activity is then accounted for so you see okay at 4 40 p.m you had a, a period of sexual activity and then they can say oh no i was masturbating here's the video for that right and then you can you can guarantee there was no one else involved there was there was no cheating taking place i think that system is okay um I thought about it a bit more, and I thought there's possibly some issues. Like, if someone was really dedicated to cheating, they could still figure out ways around it. Like, if you're on a plane, for example, like, okay, the GPS track is then fucked, so, you know, they could 
and the health data wouldn't be live. So what they could do is they could cache the health data, right? They could like just record some from like a year ago, right? Land, be like, oh, here was my health data from the plane ride showing no sexual activity. But in reality, they got fucked on a plane, right? So any period of time where the health data isn't able to be uploaded live is inherently untrustworthy. So you have to take plane flights together and stuff, train rides together. Uh, if you're going underground, you have to be underground together. You're not allowed to go underground on your own. But I think ultimately this system would prevent cheating uh, in the most ethical way possible. Like, I think this is a good system if you both agree to it and you're both on the same page. Um, I, I mean, there's still a few implementation issues. Like, if someone's, if someone is truly dedicated, they could like, uh, you know, they could cause a, like a network outage, right? With the, your tracking company or whatever. Like they could, you know, they could shoot down a satellite or some shit. Like if, if someone's really dedicated, there's still ways around this, but this covers like most reasonable people's abilities and means and stuff to, to cheat. Um, and also what you can do as well is you can let the other person know that throughout both of your lives consistently, you will be hiring professional actors at various points to approach them as another person in order to test their faithfulness. So then any new person they meet, um, potentially is an actor that's reporting back to you about their faithfulness. So then inherently everyone they meet is untrustworthy. Think about it. If if you go to a restaurant and 50% of the food that's served to you is going to kill you, i.e. break up your relationship because you find out the guy is like they're cheating on you, right? Um, do you spend months testing the food and verifying and making sure it's not a paid actor or do you just think that everything's poisonous? Um, so I don't know. I, I, had a, I had a good think about this the overall implementation of this and the system is like, I don't know, there's, I talked about it with a close friend of mine that I'm in love with and uh, she had some suggestions of her own and stuff, but one of the key things as well is that what you need to do is from the moment you agree to designing this system, you can't leave eye contact with each other. You, you can't be alone at any point because from the point where you start designing this system to the point where you implement it is the most risky period because then she knows that you will be able to see if she's cheating now let me explain because then she knows you will see if she's cheating so she can do things then like for example what she could do is she could rent out a hotel room record herself masturbating and then on the gps data like later two years down the line she goes to the hotel room right gets fucked and then gives you the video from two years ago of her masturbating and like, oh, I was this was normal sexual activity, it's fine, it was solo, right? Because she'd already recorded it two years prior. So that the, the point where you where you both agree to making the system to the point where it's implemented fully is the most risky period. Um But I think on the whole the system is pretty like I think on the whole that would that would save it would guarantee like a, a high percentage. Like you could have a reasonable degree of trust at that point. Um but I I mean if someone's dedicated that they're, they're dedicated for in pokemon blue what is this garbage ass shit okay what is this here This is like Final Fantasy for vegans. Like, wh why? Like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, man, but here, like, I watched my friend. I thought this is this is the game that I thought it was. I watched my friend Eric play this game, and I I I couldn't be I I I literally haven't been filled with so much disgust about a game since Minecraft. And that's saying a lot. Really, it's a, really a lot. Uh, I, I'm not interested in that game at all. Uh, I don't think that it's funny. I don't think that it's quirky. I think that it's ironically 
it, it's ironically, unironically stupid. Uh, the theme is cringeworthy to me. Uh, it's obnoxious, and I don't find any of it funny or clever. Like, I understand that other people like the game, right? That's cool. But I don't like the game. Like, I, I, I don't. Like, period. I just don't like it. And, like, yeah.